Yeah, we've had a couple of issues that the launch team has been working, and uh, we have an update on both of those. First of all, uh, is the leak, the liquid hydrogen leak and the replenish valve out at the mobile launcher. We understand from the launch team that that leak has not recurred. The work that happened out at the pad is that the red crew uh, and the work that they did out there remedied the leak. That's good news. And now the liquid hydrogen tank on the core stage is back in replenish at this moment. And the upper stage of the rocket, liquid hydrogen side, is in fast fill. You can see from the graphic there that we are back up to 100% over on the liquid hydrogen side on the right hand of the screen. On the left hand of the screen, uh, you can see we have been in stable replenish for liquid oxygen. Now with regards to the range, they reported that they had an issue to the NASA test director with their radar site later found out that that was actually a bad Ethernet switch uh, that was uh, cutting out and not providing them the data. The range reported that they will swap out that bad switch, and uh, they're currently working on that. They advised at the time, about uh, a half hour ago, that it would take them about 70 minutes, or about 25 minutes into that work, they did uh, just recently update the NASA test director to say that uh, it's going to take them a little bit longer because they're going to need to re-verify this Ethernet equipment uh, once they have it installed. Again, that work is ongoing, but at the moment, if we were launching right now, the range is no-go as a result of that bad Ethernet switch. No slip yet, but we're monitoring their work, and we'll give you an update when we have it.